Hi, glory to God. Have you ever asked yourself, how am I supposed to make my day great? You know what? This pastor Peter shares about this morning, bringing God's word to you, and I'll be showing you how to make your day great. Glory to God. This morning, I'll be sharing from the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. And I'll read. He said, and this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we have of him. Glory to God. You know, these are blessed words that should reassure your heart as a child of God. As you woke up this morning, probably you've woken up and you are about your day already or you are still getting set to go out for today and you've got you know those um those piercing thoughts in your heart that bothers you that you know gives you concern concerns about your family concerns about your business concerns about your job your your future your marriage and you don't know the way out you know what there is the possibilities that we've been given in Christ. The possibilities to call upon his name. And we have this confidence that he heareth us. And this has been, you know, um, we have been reassured with this very word this morning. That's why God's word is what should be our meditation all day long. Because it shows you the way out. Hallelujah. And this scripture we just read verse 14 of first john chapter 5 he said and this is the confidence you know we ought to walk around with confidence god does not expect his kids to go around you know beating down with a morale that is down you know like the the victim's mentality god does not expect you to go about your life that way the lord expects you to go out with the attitude of a champion the attitude of a winner the attitude of an overcomer yes and that's why he's reassuring you in his word this morning he said this is the confidence we have in him there's a confidence there's a confidence that we have in the lord as our god he said and this is the confidence we have in him that we have in it that if we ask anything if we ask anything hallelujah i like that word it's like telling you you dare to ask the lord dare to ask of the lord dare to make request hallelujah if we ask anything take note of that word anything according to his will according to his will he hear at us hallelujah that should give you you know this boldness to approach him no one that the scriptures uh, the scripture lets us know in hebrews in, in in the book of hebrews 4 verse uh 16 he said let us come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find grace to help in times of need so then it has always been the desire of the lord that you come to him that you have this open access to his presence and you come with boldness to obtain to obtain grace and the same you know light um is what the scripture is shedding here he said and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything if it's a conditional word have you been asking or you've been complaining have you, have you been asking the lord in faith or you've been crying you know it's time to stop the crying it's time to stop the complaining the scripture says, he said, if you shall say to this mountain, it's time to start saying words, words that produce results, not complaints, not crying. You know, crying will not change the issues. Complaints will not change the issues. You are broadcasting yourself to the whole people in your city will not change your issues. What changed the issue is when we ask in faith, hallelujah. And we ask with the confidence in our heart, knowing that he answers and hears us whenever we we'll call and this is what we have been taught in scriptures today he said this is the confidence so as you wake up this morning and as you go about your day today the way to have a great day is that you ask the lord whatever it is that challenges you whatever it is that is you know giving you concern you ask in faith yes you ask the lord confidently knowing that he hears you he said that when we ask according to his will you know one may want to ask then what is the will of god the scripture says we ask according to his will what is the will of god listen the will of god is the word of god 
and many people miss it in that they miss that light you know people many people spend time they say oh i'm trying to know the will of god as many people spend years trying to know the will of God. But the truth is that when you are uh, in tune with God's word, when you take time to study and meditate the word of God, you will not find the will of God difficult to know because the will of a man is not different from his words. For instance, when a man wants to write a will uh, for himself and for his family, you know, that man uses his own words. Yes, he used those words sometimes and those words are written down, but they are his words. And when anybody would want to read that will, he would read the man's words. Yes, through the reading of the man's written words, then people are able to know the will of the man, what the man wants, what he intends. In like manner, you not know the will of God until you read this word, this written word. Hallelujah. So the Bible in your hands, the word of God has been given to you contains the will of God. It's actually the will of God for your life. So you want to know the will of God? Take time to study the word. That's why every day before you go out, you should study the word. And you pray. You stir up yourself with the word. Like yesterday, I declared that, you know, the word of God is something you should shout about. So when you shout about the word of God, you are shouting about his will. Hallelujah. So you declare his will. You rejoice over his word. Hallelujah. You let the word of God have the impact in you in such a way that at every given count whatever situation that confronts you you will know the will of god because you have you know you have the present knowledge of the word of god hallelujah so the word of god is god's will so when scripture tells us here that when we pray according to his will he hear it us it means when you pray according to the word yes when you pray in line with the word when you pray in sync with the word you don't pray contrary to the word when you start praying contrary to the revealed will of god then you are praying outside his will for instance somebody seeing another person's wife or somebody's husband and start praying lord i want to marry this person help me marry this person so uh when you start making that prayer it does not tally with god's will yes because the god's word obviously lets us know that it's it, it, it's is against uh, adultery uh, uh, so we don't start praying that kind of prayer it does not tally with god's will but once you take a note of God's word, something in God's word, it's written word, and you know that you've studied it in God's word and it's there, then that's God's will. You can pray over it and receive it. For instance, good health is your right as a child of God. It's your covenant right. It's your right as a child of God, a born again child of God. It's not the will of God that anyone be sick. Hallelujah. It's not the will of God that anyone perish. Yes, but at all come to repentance. These are, these are the, um, um, you know, obvious will of God written down in scriptures. So when I pray, I declare, you foul spirit of infirmity in my body or in the body of my loved ones, you sickness or disease in the name of Jesus, go out. I am confident that he will hear me because I know it's in line with his will. Hallelujah. So when I declare, wet and riches are in the house of the righteous, therefore wet and riches are in my house, I am confident that that is my reality because it is written in God's word. Hallelujah. So he said, when we pray, according to his will if we will ask him according to his will he heareth us and i like verse 15 he said and if we know that he hears us it's something we know it's not it's not something you think say let me pray I, 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 and um, and see if god will hear me no you don't give it a trial it's a knowing it's a knowing when you pray each there should be a knowing he said and if we know that he heareth us whatsoever we ask we know that we have the petition that we desired of him it's like what jesus said in mark 11 verse 22 to 24 he said when you pray believe you receive and you shall have so that's how we obtain in the kingdom that's how we obtain promises in the kingdom we pray believing that we have received what we pray for hallelujah while you are praying you receive it you, even when it has not manifest in the physical, but while you are praying, you do the receiving. Hallelujah. That's what we've been taught by God's word. So as you pray, you believe you've received. And this is the word we are hearing also in verse 15 here. He said, and if we know that we hear, that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know also that we have, which means we've received the petition. Hallelujah. So as you go out this morning, you lift up those hands. 
you begin oh, to commit your day in God's hands. You say, I'm going to have a great day. My day is going to be fruitful. Yes, I'm going out blessed. I'm coming in blessed. Yes, I'm going out and that job that I'm going for, I'm getting it in the name of Jesus. I have favor with God. I have favor with men. Yes, men are bringing favor from the northwest, east and south to me. Hallelujah. Men are walking a distance is just to bless me today. Hallelujah. My business is blessed. Yes, my family is blessed. My home is blessed. My academics is blessed. All that I lay my hands to do today is blessed. I go out and every evil, every machinations of darkness against me, they are dispaired. You begin to declare words ahead of yourself for the day. And as you declare those words, you believe that you already have what you say. And the Bible said, and you shall have what you say. That's how to have a great day. So as you go out today, let this confidence be in you. Don't be moved. Don't be shaken by circumstance or by situation. Don't be shaken by the news on the mass media, on the social media, or the news that your neighbors bring to you. Let the report of the Lord be that which gladdens you. The scripture says, it says whose report do we believe? We shall believe the report of the Lord. And God's report for you is of good and not of evil, to give you a hope, to give you a future, and to bring you to an expected end. So go out expecting that expected end today in the name of jesus don't allow no fear don't allow no you know worries bog you down today but you go out in confidence take note he said and this is the confidence so we go out in confidence don't be found wanting don't be found moving around with doubt don't be found moving around with your head beating down don't be found around be beating down like with your shoulders in and no 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 you square up your shoulders you look straight ahead because you confident not in yourself but in the fact that when you call upon the Lord he heareth you and because he hears you you know you have the petition that you have asked of him that's the way to go today that's how you should go around your day today and you'll be coming back with testimony hallelujah and for you who is not yet born again you know what you too can be a part to this you know glorious access to the father of of, of having this you know unquantifiable uh, 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 you know access to receive from him by making Jesus the Lord of your life and you want to do that now you want to make that decisions now the scripture tells us in Acts of the Apostles 2 verse 21 he said and whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved you want to do the calling today you want to make him the Lord of your life today the scripture says in Romans 8 uh, sorry no Romans 10 8 to 10 he said with the heart man believe but with the mouth confession is made unto salvation in other words with the mouth confession declaration announcement you are catapulted into salvation with your mouth with the words of your mouth and you want to do that now so you want to make this prayer after me you say father in the name of Jesus declare those words you say, I come to you just as I am, a sinner. I have heard your word and I believe that you sent your son Jesus Christ as the perfect sacrifice for my sin. I believe that he died, that he was buried, that on the third day he rose again for my justification. I believe that by uh, this act of faith of my declaring God's word, that I be translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son that I'm born again and if you make that prayer from the depth of your heart you are born again welcome to the kingdom of God we want to admonish you to look out for a Bible believing church in the city where you live join that church so that you'll be groomed up and trained in the things of God and you know what if peradventure you live in Padova I want to invite you or you live in any of the adjoining cities like Treviso, Bologna, Ferrara, uh, Vicenza, Rovigo, Venice, Mestre I want to invite you to come have fellowship with us at Healing Grace Christian Assembly via J Avanso number 17, just behind the part of our train station. As soon as you come out from the part of our underground subway from the train station, you find the building with the policia locale. Just in that same building, by the left or by the right, sorry, you will find the yellow door post that's our the entrance to our church you walk right into the first floor and you find us there on sundays we are there by 10 o'clock the sunday school starts by 11 o'clock the main service starts on tuesdays we have our prayer meetings where we agree with you for a miracle and it starts by 6 30 in the evening to 8 p.m yes and we'll be there expecting you with open hands yes with open hands so ensure to know what to share this message 
with at least 10 of your loved ones. You know, do the work of an evangelist and help them start off with a great day because there's so much bad news in circulation. You want to be a carrier of good news. So do it now, not later. Now, share to at least 10 of your loved ones and family members and encourage them with the message to start off with a great day. And if you've not subscribed on our YouTube channel, ensure to do that. The name is Pastor Peter Ashazobo on YouTube and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so that when next we uh, post new videos and or audio messages because we do that a whole lot um you'll be among the first to receive the message you know what i want to wish you have a great day god bless you